you guys thought golf fitness was just for tour pros, think again. In this episode, we're going to go to a fantastic new facility that's just opened in Sheffield. So I'm back at John Hodgkinson Golf Fitness here near Sheffield, and this time I'm with Will Owen, the business director. Will, how's it going? It's going good. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for having me back. And I say having me back, we're at the new digs. This place looks phenomenal. Yeah, it's a little bit of an upgrade on what we had before. Yeah, it looks miles bigger, a lot more purpose-built, I think. Some treatment rooms upstairs. That's exactly it. Yeah, we just wanted to create this purpose-built place that's going to give golfers everything they need to, to play better. And, and I always thought in my mind, these facilities only existed for like the tour pros, the guys that got all the money all the coaches, but you know, you're getting average golfers like me coming through the door. Yeah, I mean, you're the bread and butter, to be honest. It's just the, the average golfer who wants to play more and play without pain, maybe hit it a little bit further. They're the people we work with the most. Fantastic, and it's, we're gonna have a look through there at the moment. John's just doing an assessment now on my Zach, so we're gonna film a little bit of that. But these facilities look great, so you've got a swing center as well, and you do coaching out of here, I think. Yeah, we have, uh, at the moment, three different coaches who come in, work in this room, and they're coaching people through the winter. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to create the sort of best simulator we could where people got plenty of room to swing. Love it, should have brought the sticks. So we've got a couple of treatment rooms. This one's just been finished recently. So our in-house sports therapist operates out of here. Um, so, you know, the golfers who are coming through the door injured with back pain or elbow pain, knee pain, whatever else it might be. He's the first port of call to get people out of pain, do the necessary rehab, and then we can get them training downstairs. So, you know, he's available um, full time. He works works evenings, weekends. So, when people are busy at work, we can fit them in. And um, most importantly, we've got the aircon in here, so it's always a nice temperature. Nice, is a lovely room as well. So, what's the most common injury you're seeing at the moment? Bad back, bad elbows. Back pain, 100%. <laughs> yeah, nine, nine out of ten people are coming through the door with back pain. So while I was having a look around the facilities and getting the tour from Will, John was putting my son Zach through his paces doing a fitness assessment for a two handicapped golfer who's age 16. Sat nice and tall, good to go. Yeah, very good, back to the centre. Good to go. Yeah, very good. So he's got a bit more movement than his old man, John. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, very good. So, I mean, that is, you know, for a junior, yeah. we, we do tend to find that like, mobility is not really the issue. They tend to move really easily. Um, for Zach's rotation, so rotating into his right-hand side through his mid-spine area, he's got 86 degrees of rotation. Testing standard, we would like to see someone get to 60 degrees. Good to see John's still game in the old Cleveland. You can hit a few of those if you want. I don't think I can hit any of these irons, John. Blime. Oh, you've added a two iron now, just to make it even harder for yourself. So actually, strength-wise, right side, 17% stronger. Yeah? Yeah. So now, if we look at what do we need to work on. Good, good. Now push. Good. And again. on the force previously, yeah. you're now with that bigger height, you're kicking out 4,185. Yeah. Nice, 115. Matched it, 115. And again, matched it. Very, very consistent, which is good because the numbers are good as well. Yeah. Two more to go. Nice, 
for the fourth time. Five lots of the same number. <laughs> Very good. So, chest up, straight arm push. That's 16 foot straight away. Four to go, beat 17. Yeah, there we go. 17 one. So finally, I have to get in the guided tour from Will and having a chat with Ben and with the main man, John. Nice to see you again. Thanks for having me back. Amazing purpose-built facility. Yeah. You know, you've got everything here, a lot more equipment than before as well. Yes. And the whole point of this episode was you don't have to be a tour pro to get access to this kind of service. We've all seen the full swing. We've all seen the pros turning up to golf in the gym gear. And it's also getting more important for every golfer. But from talking to Will, yep. you know, average golfers can really benefit from this. Yeah, I mean, the average amateur golfer is, is the, the person that we work with. Um, you know, looking at age brackets, so it's like the older age bracket, it's, you know, if your body's starting to not quite move the way you would like it to, if your body is the area that's letting you down on the golf course, that's what we specialise in. You know, we assess the body first of all, we build up that blueprint, then we build all of our programming around that. So we, we really try and match people where they are, instead of someone walking through the door and feeling intimidated by a gym and getting chucked in at the deep end, heavy weights trying to lift and move quickly it's really understand where they are right now build that blueprint and progressively train people through that as well that's really cool you mentioned the older golfer so kind of like me but it's an assessment today on my 16 yes. year old son zach so what's the benefits in this for someone who's yeah, young yeah. and slim and yep. got loads of mobility and speed well so you, you picked out a really good point there so zach generates a lot of good speed so his club head speed when we tested it kicked out at 115 mile an hour which is impressive it's very fast he also has very good range of motion. So his ability to rotate and get into good positions in the golf swing is very good. You then ask the question, do you have the strength to be able to stabilize that mobility? Okay, so when you can rotate the spine at almost 90 degrees, that's fantastic, but 115 mile an hour club head speed, rotational force, you better make sure that the abdominals, the core muscles, the glutes, everything's stabilizing and working to protect that as well. Fantastic, and the assessment you do, obviously you get a bespoke plan, yep. the, the guys, guys get the app like you've got with me, you know, and they're getting their workouts how many times a week and they can just see it, see it on their iPhone. Yeah, so, you know, you know, typically, so we're based in Dromfield in the middle of Sheffield, Chesterfield, get a lot of like local uh, clients, but people do travel to see us. So when people travel, we assess them, we train them in person, you get sent away with your program, but we still coach you in the background. So myself and Ben and Reese and Will, we're all active within the app, so we're, we're coaching people in the background. They come back across periodically for reassessments and to train with us. Um, and, you know, we can still touch base, even though you might not be coming to see us on a weekly basis. People might come fortnightly, they might come once a month, they might come once a quarter. So we can still touch base, we can still give you that hands-on personal service. But you can, you can be based anywhere in the UK, in the US, we can still coach you. It's amazing, people. John. I mean, good luck to you with this place, it's a new venture. I think you're just going to fly, you're going to succeed. Thank you. Guys, this is an absolute game changer. I wish it was a bit nearer to York, but I've got the app. You know, I'm only an hour or so away, so I do need to get here a bit more often. But why wouldn't this? is great. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, give it a like. If you loved it, tell your friends about the channel. There's 170 episodes on the back catalogue. And we'll see you next time on The Golf Show. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.